I told you not to come back here now. Go away and leave me alone before I call the cops. Look upon your face. I should have changed that stupid luck. I should have made you leave your key. If I'd have known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Oh, now go. Walk out the door. Oh, best disco song ever. Too bad I can't sing quite like her. I've come over to my mom's house today to change out some locks for her. There's a lot of different reasons why you might have to change out locks. Hopefully it's not to keep someone undesirable away from you, but unfortunately that does happen sometimes. Luckily that's not the case here. She has a single deadbolt lock on two of her doors, meaning that there's a deadbolt on the outside, but on the inside there's a lever where you can lock or unlock the door. Unfortunately, she also has these windows right next to her front door, and all anybody would have to do is bash in that window, stick their hand in, and unlock the door, and they're in. So we are changing those to double deadbolt locks. Now the locks I'm using are these quick set smart key technology locks. They are very easy to rekey to your current locks at your house so that you don't have to change everything or get all new locks. This is very easy to do yourself, but the lady that worked in the lock department at Home Depot actually rekeyed them for me and she let me film it. Take a look. Key that it's originally keyed to. Okay. Put that key inside the lock, turn it to three o'clock. Okay. I'm gonna take this little tool and that little divot that you see right there, uh -huh. you're gonna push that divot in until you sort of feel it, maybe hear it click. Okay. Take the tool out, take the key straight out. Don't turn it. Okay. Take the key you want it keyed to, okay. put it in, and you can okay. feel it. Right. Right. Cool. That was some pretty good customer service. If you're in an unfortunate situation where you do have to change all the locks in your house and you can't or don't want to pay for a locksmith to come out or to buy all new locks for your house, you can actually rekey them yourself. There are these little kits you can buy and there's a great YouTube page called The Helpful Lock Picker and he shows you exactly how to do it. It is a little bit painstaking and a lot of detail work, but you can do it. All right, so if you do need to get all new locks, make sure you're matching the uh, little serial numbers here on the back and the people at the home improvement store can help you with that. That way they'll all be keyed the same way. Let's see. I have actually never done this before, so <laughs> we'll see. First thing you gotta do, of course, is take out the old lock. Now you're gonna have a oval ring on your paint. All right, here we go. That guy and that guy actually fit together. It's like a male-female thing. I'm gonna jimmy them a little bit to make sure they are going into each other properly. Come on, people, work with me here. Oops. All right, this is not going the way I want it to right now. Okay. There's multiple screws in this thing and I couldn't quite figure out why there was so many different orientations of screws. Just figured it out. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Take that key out. Ha, take that paper off. Uh -huh. All right, and this, the plate goes back over that and then Take the little mounted screws that have the flat end on them, stick them in here. This is why you should read the instructions. One time, several years ago, I said that to you, and your response was, where's the challenge in that? <laughs> Tightening this a little bit. Awesome! <laughs> yes! 
This lock is a little tight and I learned recently that you should never put in WD-40 in there because uh, apparently it gunks up the lock over time and it really only helps in the short term. So what I got here is some graphite powder or graphite lubricant that you can get at any place that sells locks. And you're supposed to be able to just basically squirt some in there. All right. Well, that took far longer than it should have. <laughs> Hey folks, thanks for watching Chick Fix, and if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please like and subscribe, or maybe even share a video. That little tiny click of a button is entirely free to you, but it means the world to me. Thanks for watching.